Well, it's a beautiful Friday morning. It's going to be in the high 60s today, maybe. A beautiful day for a spin. But I can't go. I could go if the tide was low in the morning, but the tide's low around too. And the damn dishwasher, the new dishwasher guy's coming. He just calls and said, delivery is scheduled for four, one, and three. So I'll be captured in the damn house, hanging around. I don't know. I'm getting ready to take these knives back to that little restaurant I work. Probably have some breakfast. See how that goes. <laughs> anyway, I knew there was something else I had to tell you. So, uh, tomorrow, Saturday, I got to work the uh, Virginia Beach Farmers Market. They got a big gig. They're Santa Claus. I don't know what it is, meat Santa Claus or something. It's a whole bunch of vendors from that local area and then all kinds of vendors like myself we set up with tents like we do at the other fairs that's from 10 o'clock to 4 o'clock cost 40 bucks uh, I don't know that I'll do much there but I'm going anyway just to make an appearance it hadn't been much prior notice to me going because I wasn't sure I was going but I'm going to do some stuff today to let them know if I am coming a few people anyway so maybe it won't be a bust but and then of course you know I worked there last winter in the winter time from January February until I got too damn cold that I came home and stayed in the recliner stand by I can't remember crap Doc Beaver went last night landed not a and I think he made two spins. He made one south down by the pier, and then he came up to the button patch up in the north. And he didn't find much. He was said it was sand in it, but he did find uh, a brooch like pin, uh, about two inches, uh, dragonfly. And he said it looked like it was gold or gold plated. He wasn't sure. But anyway, when he got it home and cleaned it all up, apparently it was gold. Nice little dragonfly, too. I'll put a picture on here so you can see it. But he's, as far as I know, he's the only one went. And that was last night, you know. I don't know what the Mumbles man was doing. It was just like it is right now. Almost, you know, been the high 60s again yesterday. He might have went and not found anything. I don't know. But maybe we'll never know. Oh, I know what's the other thing I got to ask you. If you notice my video from day before yesterday, where we found it, where they found the gold in their scoops, the pendant, and the Bumbles Man's ring from Monday or Tuesday or whatever it was, he found it. That was an 11-minute video. Well, something's happened to my damn computer. It took nine hours to load that 11-minute video up. Nine hours, and it usually takes. It used to take from maybe 15 minutes sometimes six minutes sometimes a half hour to load a, 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 long, a long you know a 10 minute video or something like that but the last couple of times it's taken nine hours or ten hours to load one video I'm looking for comments on that and help well I just left the machine shop I got some ideas on this scissor sharpener thing I'm trying to build and while I was there, I was talking to the kid that owns the machine shop. And he said, you know, I got something for you. He says, I, I don't never use it anymore. It's kind of small for my operation. I'll show it to you when I get home or whatever, wherever I am next. Anyway, what it is is a Baldor buffer. Now, I don't know if you people know much about buffers, but Baldor makes the best buffers there are. In the knife world, and the best grinders, half the half the custom-made knife makers use Baldor something, Baldor buffers, Baldor sanders, Baldor this, Baldor that. Don't come any better. I'll show it to you. It's a nice one. 
it was really dusty. He had it in the corner. He said, well, you know, I got something you need. <laughs> this kid used to work for me in his youth. He worked for me for three or four years. Nice guy. Okay, stand by. There's a big thrift store right over here that I go to when, I, when I'm in this area. I mean, a great big Salvation Army one. They get loaded with knives. I'm hoping maybe they got something today, but we'll know more. Stand by. Well, the thrift store had lots of knives, as I suspected. The only one I bought was this little one from Japan. So Rogers. I don't know if you can see it all. Is it glare or not? Nice little knife. Made in Japan. Okay, I'm back home. These are exchange knives. Big, big old kitchen knives, you know. And then I got a call from a lady that had some knives, and I met her. I don't have no idea what's in this bag. Give me a minute, and we'll look. But well, anyway, here's the best of it right here. A Baldor buffer. 0.38 horsepower, 115 volts, 3 point something amps, 3600 RPM, 60 kilohertz. Or hertz, I guess it is. This is a fine taquito right here, buddy. Mercedes Benz of buffers. We'll have to plug her in in a minute and give her a spin, see how she works. Dust her off a little bit. She's been sitting, she's been hiding for a long time in this guy's shop. It's a lot of scooters right there, buddy. Came with two wheels. Looks like a one brand new one. One used slightly. <laughs> I'll just stick them right on there today. All right, let's see what's in this conglomeration. I've done this lady's knives before. She's a newscaster for a local TV station. They look like uh, internet. No, they're straight. All heckles, I think. Heckles. Yeah, whole set of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. A family. A gathering. Okay. That's it. The living end. Okay, let's hit the switch. <laughs> and that baby is cooking right now. 3600. That'll do the job, but boy, you gotta be careful at 3600. I'm gonna see how they don't vibrate hardly any at all. I'll probably still have to put a board on it. I got a board on that one. You see how I got it? I'm gonna clamp it down on the table so it don't vibrate. But with these extended shafts, that baby really vibrates. You gotta hold her down tight. She's out of whack, you know what I mean? She's out of balance. Because this baby is perfect. I might be able to get by with nothing. I'll have to try her out. Right. Try out on this little thrift store knife we just bought this morning. That Royals Rogers from, I mean Rogers from Japan. Just for the heck of it. I got most everything in my truck for tomorrow. I had the generator right, letting it run for a while. I put the sharpeners in, in the, in the generator back in in the morning. That's it. I think the Mummel's man is in the land of Nala with the guru. That's the report I got. So we'll see when they add it to the end here. Don't forget about the video thing I asked about. There's a new washer of dishes. I don't know when it's going to be installed, but that's where my orders were to put it, right in the middle of the kitchen. <laughs> oh boy.